So here at the Acer booth, and you're showing IoT. Yes. So what are you doing with IoT? So actually, uh, we are providing a services called BYOC, Build Your Own Cloud. So Acer empowered Build Your Own Cloud with all these companies involved, this ARM, this Atmel, all, lots of uh, semiconductor companies, right? Yes. And they provide uh, CPUs that, that yes. work for this? So what, is, what are we looking at here? Right, so uh, we are partnering up with the different SOC providers, including what you see here, MediaTek, Realtek, and Marvel. So all these companies are quite, a, actually other than this, we have other companies as well, uh, like X86 from Intel. So while all these companies are quite aggressive, ramping their products and their strategies into the IoT road, uh, different companies cut into the game with the different strategies and the product features. So that's why we need to work with each other uh, to ensure all the platforms are ready. So whoever coming from different verticals, they got their own choices. So what is this one? Is this the Intel one? So yes, this is uh, uh, a, a hardware platform based on x86. x86 what does it do? Intel. So as you can see that it's a, a box that comes with computing power and a huge storage. Like a PC? Uh, well, basically yes, but what uh, the difference is that uh, we are actually putting the most, uh, probably the most welcome Ubuntu uh, core inside so of that. Ubuntu IoT. Yes. IoT optimized Ubuntu. Is yes. It? Yes. Exactly. And it's actually come together with the latest uh, Ubuntu operating system code name Snappy. So together with this hardware platform and our SDK, this box is talking to the BYOC at a real time basis. All right. So what, what kind of software are you running here? So actually, we're providing the SDKs for uh, people to use, and uh, um, the SDKs is actually talking to our cloud behind, while it also works at the platform level, both at the hardware layer and software layer. So, um, is it some, some kind of uh, operating system for the cloud? What is it? Well, uh, you can say it that way, because... Uh, is it an uh, alternative to Embed OS, or is it compatible? Well, no, 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 it? it's actually quite complementary. So we are also in discussion, we're in touch with ARM, and then there are also our uh, alliance in the ecosystem. We uh, understand very well the Embed server and the Embed DS. And I think the efforts that are coming out from ARM is actually help facilitate the interoperability of some of the coming IoT world among different platforms. So we take it as a very complementary strategic partners, other than, you know, we're not come sitting with each other at all. So so what does it mean bring your own cloud? What what is a what is the vision about right. around that? We think in the coming road, uh, both consumer and commercials, there's a need. Of course, you see a lot of usage models are happening at the public cloud while we do see uh, both consumer and commercials want to lend their critical information down to on you know on their hands or on the premises. So uh, that means the cloud should be working with all kinds of devices. I think so, and actually, in, it is our concept to have a distributed computing. Distributed computing happening at all levels. So the computing will be happening at the edge. The computing will be happening at the, you know, like something IoT gateway and platforms. While in another hand, uh, computing will be happening at the back end up to the cloud. So it will be uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, like also on the sensors, will also be doing some of the computing, right? Exactly. So for example, uh, you see the medical demo here. The computing will be happening on the edge with you know uh, like this a thermometer. And the computing will be happening in between, like this is the patient monitors, and computing will be happening at, uh, at this uh, uh, AP inbox as we provide it, all go through the cloud, which is invisible here. And, and in the cloud, we're also doing some computing. So, uh, are you doing a lot of cloud computing? Exactly. So, uh, this is another strategic partners that we work with. So the, the group, the company so MTOC, uh, they are a company specialized in teaching students and uh, other programmers a programming language live code. Right. So with this live code, right, so now it's autonomous. Yes, it's, it uh, is. moving by itself? Yes. No controls? Uh, not now. But no, we no. have the uh, control app here. Cool. All right. So, so you have, you can also see that there's a supersonic and uh, the video uh, sensor, uh, Im uh, image sensor here up front. So actually, oh, there's also voice uh, 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 microphone nice. here, right? So with all kind of a sensor and input output devices, right, actually programmers 
and can use these platforms programming the very easy natural language which is called live cloud here and interacting through our cloud with the different hardware and software devices and, uh, and uh, user interfaces. Nice. So um, it's really important to get uh, all the students into the IoT world. This, this is a yeah, big opportunity for, for Taiwan, right? Exactly. And this is the, actually uh, more than just students. We're embracing the makers' communities. Yeah. As you can see, that the live code uh, is very simple programming language, while the Ubuntu is probably the most welcomed uh, uh, Linux-based operating system, open source, open to the makers' communities in the world. So it's very important to get uh, to get. Uh, all kinds of companies, maybe in small companies in Taiwan and uh, and partners and all that stuff. So it's a lot of partnering. Absolutely. Actually, it's more than just Taiwan. We're offering this uh, as a reference. I mean, uh, Abing Bus come together with our SDK Plus Cloud services behind. So actually open to the global makers communities. Yeah. And uh, you have server stuff here. And uh, so, so this is it. This is the end of the, the IoT uh, demo. Uh, right, actually, we have some uh, uh, big data dashboard. Maybe we can yeah. uh, go over there and uh, check it out. So, what is this showing? So this is the big data that's watching in the big data game, right? Uh, the most challenging thing is because the data is something that you cannot see, right? So number one step for people to work on the uh, big data is visualization. So we're providing different type of a, uh, a user interfaces like this, a bar chart, pie chart, train chart, so that people better understand that how this can help uh, the business uh, for uh, making decisions. So this is called business intelligence portion, while we are providing different layers of a big, big data like this. It's indicating that how many devices are, uh, are, are connecting uh, to the cloud in real-time basis. While well, this one is providing you the heat map, uh, you know, an immediate snapshot for people to understand how many devices are located in different geographical locations uh, with, with the real-time you know, service request the sending uh, to the cloud. Can you explain a little bit uh, how Acer uh, how is Acer going to make money on the uh, IoT? Right. Uh, at this moment, the monetization, you know, in the coming application to the IoT and big data world, uh, we are thinking uh, the winning formula should be as flexible as possible. So, uh, as we are helping people to build their IoT stories, helping them to do the operation portion, and we are also helping people to transfer all these big data back to their premises. So, uh, from this end-to-end -end solutions, we have a different type of business model working with the partners uh, from different verticals. So, our take is that we want to make it as flexible as possible, enabling portion, operation portion, data processing portions, it all counts. And devices too, right? Some right, devices. Exactly. Right, They'll as you be... can see, there are lots yeah. of hardware and uh, most of, uh, you know, we are coming from the hardware world, uh, although, you know, we've been in the data service business for more than 14 years.